Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you the fastest canning recipe that you can try even if you've never canned before, one that you can get done in about 20 minutes. So um, there's a lot of ways that you can make canning faster and make it um, less burdensome. Um, and actually that's like my favorite myth to bust about canning, um, that it takes a long time because it really can be a super quick thing. Um, and my favorite recipe to recommend to readers of my blog, The Domestic Wildflower, is the fast raspberry jam recipe, which I'll share here. Um, it's on the Domestic Wildflower blog. You can just search raspberry jam. Um, and it's truly, you can go from start to done in 20 minutes if you're using a steam canner, which I highly recommend that you do. Um, steam canners use about that much water in the bottom of the pot as opposed to like eight or nine inches of water. So they come to a boil so, so much faster, like within five minutes as opposed to 20 minutes of a traditional water bath canner. So they really can make um, just the whole canning process. I mean, you, you save 20 minutes immediately if you're using a steam canner. But even if you are using a traditional water bath, raspberry jam is super, super fast for several reasons. And I'll share with you some tips now for how to make the recipe and how to make it as fast as you can. Um, so even if you can them in little itty bitty giftable jars that are like four ounces or um, half pints, the recipe yields four cups of jam, four measuring cups, which is a fair amount. Um, and in the blog post, you can print the recipe off for free if you prefer or if you'd like. Um, and it calls for raspberries, a little bit of bottled lemon juice, and some sugar. You don't need to add pectin to raspberry jam because you know the seeds in raspberries, I think they're wonderful and delightful, but some people don't care for them. But the seeds in raspberries provide natural pectin um, that makes your jam nice and firm, like of a spreadable consistency as opposed to a pourable syrup. So raspberries are the perfect fruit because they're high in acid, they're naturally sweet, and they have this natural pectin inside the seeds. Um, so in a wide preserving pan, you can combine the ingredients on medium to high heat. And I use a potato masher, which is kind of goofy, but, or you can use a wooden spoon. And you turn it on high heat and you just kind of like mash them the way you would mash mashed potatoes. And just when they come to a boil, that's when you can ladle your jam into your jars. It goes really, really quickly. Then once you're ready, once once the raspberries have broken down with your mashing and they've come to a boil, which will be literally within two or three minutes, like really quick, especially if you have a nice wide bottomed preserving pan. Um, and then you can ladle them into your jars and process them for 10 minutes at sea level. So they're a good, easy, quick, jam recipe that's it's just like the such an ideal one for beginners because it's as fast as could be and delicious and really giftable um i made raspberry jam for a friend's uh bridal shower um so like favors for all the guests i've made raspberry jam um obviously just for peanut butter and jelly just to enjoy around the house so it's a really great recipe that has a lot of different uses um so you definitely need to try it this season.